are hundreds of miles of affected coastline. Exxon, which is running the operation, is coming under heavy criticism from state and federal officials. Crude oil is really bad for fish. The most immediate effect it has on them is suffocation, but it also does long-term harm. The National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration recently put out a paper looking at the effects of oil on salmon and herring embryos. The researchers found exposures to relatively low levels of crude produced substantial heart defects in the fish, making them slower and more vulnerable to predators. The kicker is that externally the fish seem fine, so the effects show up in the vulnerability of the population as a whole. With the Shell oil platform en route to exploratory drilling in Alaskan waters, the research is increasingly relevant. Dozens of kayakers and canoers took to Elliott Bay today. The fears that led to protests of the oil rig in Seattle are that more drilling means more chances of a spill in a sensitive area. And as President Obama illustrated during his visit to Alaska last week, salmon is a critical food source for many rural communities there. The researchers say their paper emphasizes that the impact of an oil spill is often underestimated and can last long after the oil has been cleaned up. For Newsy, I'm Sebastian Martinez.